MSC Seascape is the newest mega ship to set sail from MSC Cruises. The wife and I have just returned from the inaugural cruise, and we want to share all the details about this brand new ship with our exclusive MSC Seascape cruise ship tour up next. Welcome aboard, cruisers. I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you see the world one port at a time. Now the wife and I are mega ship enthusiasts and we've sailed on the world's largest cruise ships and we're super excited to bring you our latest cruise ship tour of MSC Seascape. Now like we do for all our ship tours, we start at the very top of the ship and go deck by deck showcasing all the public venues, all the restaurants, entertainment venues, bars and lounges, and public spaces on MSC Seascape. So let's start at the very top of the ship, all the way forward in the Yacht Club. The Yacht Club is MSC Cruise's ship within a ship experience. This exclusive area is just for guests staying in one of the premium Yacht Club suites. This area offers private access and the most elegant suites on the ship. The benefits of staying at the Yacht Club also include butler and concierge service and premium travel experiences. On MSC Seascape, the Yacht Club consists of decks 16 through 20 all the way forward. On deck 20, you'll find the MSC Yacht Club sun deck and pool. This private sun deck is ideal for those looking to catch some rays while on vacation and the weather's sunny. With plenty of chairs, oversized sofa beds, and cabanas, it's a luxurious and tranquil space. The center attraction here is the inset pool, and there are also two additional whirlpools, one at the center of the deck and one on the starboard side. Also on the sun deck is the MSC Yacht Club grill and bar. So of course, while lounging poolside, guests in the Yacht Club have their own outdoor bar. All drinks at this bar are covered in the cruise fare, as Yacht Club guests receive a drink package as part of the cruise price. Serving poolside classics, martinis, and other libations, your next drink is just a sip away. And while outside, the grill offers small bites in a buffet style setting during the morning, afternoon, and early evening. Guests staying at the Yacht Club also have access to their own private restaurant. Located on deck 18 forward in the Yacht Club, this restaurant offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner. With an elevated menu, which changes daily for lunch and dinner, guests can dine on a specialized menu featuring Mediterranean delicacies. This forward-facing restaurant offers panoramic views of the bow of the ship. The main entrance to this private oasis is on deck 16 forward. Upon entering the main lobby, guests are greeted by the concierge. These helpful crew members are here to ensure your cruise is smooth sailing. Also on deck 16, the top sail lounge is the indoor lounge and private interior bar for the Yacht Club. Offering comfy seating in a casual yet refined setting, cruisers can mingle with other Yacht Club guests while sipping cocktails. With light live music in the evenings, it's the ideal place to start your night of fun on board MSC Seascape. Of course, MSC Yacht Club guests are free to come and go from this area as they want to enjoy everything else the ship has to offer. Aft on deck 20, you'll find the sports arena. This multi-use sports court hosts regular games like basketball and soccer. It's open for select hours of open play, as well as cruise staff-led competitions. Also on deck 20 is the newest thrill ride at sea, the Robotron. Combining state-of-the-art robotic technology with synchronized music, this ride jolts cruisers up, down, and upside down 173 feet above sea level. There are varying thrill levels for all cruisers to enjoy this attraction. The Top 19 Solarium is an exclusive outdoor space for Aurea guests on Deck 19 of MSC Seascape. The area features prime midship deck space with upgraded lounge furniture, two whirlpools, and a bar. Thus, it's certainly a nice escape from the crowds. Depending on whether it's a sea day or a port day, the Top 19 bar opens anywhere between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. and stays open until 7 p.m. in the evenings. The Horizons Bar is located on deck 19 aft, overlooking the main outdoor pool area. 
the small bar features the standard pull bar menu and offers some comfortable lounge seating nearby for guests looking to relax while enjoying their beverages. Depending on the ship's port of call, the Ryzen bar opens somewhere between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and remains open until 11 p.m. at night, weather permitting. Located midship on deck 18 is a centralized youth area, Do Re Mi Lan. MSC Skeep offers one of the largest children's areas in the MSC Cruises fleet. Every MSC cruise is full of fun and discovery for kids of every age, with several activities organized just for them and including the cruise fair. There are five dedicated clubs for ages ranging from 0 to 17 years old, where all children are supervised by trained multilingual personnel. The baby club for those zero to three years old is in partnership with the baby brand Chica. This provides a dedicated play area with facilities for babies and toddlers. You can leave your toddlers with the MSC baby care staff or stay with them and enjoy the special Chico toys and games. The mini club is for kids three to six years old. Building on the brand's partnership with Lego, this room features Lego Duplo for the little ones to enjoy. The Junior Club is for kids 7 to 11 years old. This space features Lego bricks and the opportunity to earn a certificate for becoming a Lego Master Builder. Guests from 12 to 17 years old will enjoy three new themed areas on MSC Seascape. The first space centers on the future and features a technology area with the latest gaming consoles and virtual reality. The chill out area offers a place for teens to socialize and challenge each other to games of ping pong and foosball. The third space celebrates music with a dance club featuring light and sound effects. The young club is for kids 12 to 14 years old. And here they can participate in a program of sports tournaments, high tech games, and lots of other fun activities. There's also the Teen Club, for those 15 to 17 years old. Here, teens can look forward to a wide range of activities, from sports and dance contests, to video game tournaments, a disco, and even karaoke. Located near the entrance of the kids' area is the studio. This new modern and multifunctional space offers multiple opportunities to please young media lovers. It includes a cinema, a live TV studio, guests can even perform and create their very own original content in the studio. Families will want to check the daily program for open times of the youth facilities. Most sea days, the club was open for select hours in the morning, afternoon, and evening. At ports of call, the club was open in the middle of the day and later in the evening. Midship on deck 18, families can also cool off at the high-tech interactive aqua park, the Pirate's Cove. This water park is enhanced with virtual reality and features an adventure trail, treasure hunts, and tons of water features. For younger cruisers, there are water fountains, a drench bucket, two small slides, and several splash pad areas. There are three additional slides for older cruisers. Those that are at least seven years old and are at least 40 inches tall have two additional rides. The pool slider is an open air slide that twists and turns down three decks. The dual high-speed tubes has racers face off side by side as they race down three decks. Cruisers that are 42 inches tall and at least 8 years old can also ride the Aqua Dream. This tube ride is a four-deck wet and wild ride complete with some lights and sounds. It was my favorite of all the attractions. Most days the Aqua Park was open around 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. at night. Above the Aqua Park, there is the Adventure Trail. This small ropes course consists of only a few challenges. Cruisers of any age should be able to complete this course in less than a minute. For more thrills, the Hall of Games offers some virtual excitement, starboard side, a Deck 18 midship. With MSC Cruises signature F1 simulator, an XD cinema, and several other VR attractions, this is one of the most high-tech arcades at sea. Prices vary for each attraction at the Hall of Games, although fun passes can be purchased at discounted rates to provide even greater value. We highly suggest testing out the 360 Flight Simulator as well as the Motobike and XD Cinema. 
There are also more traditional arcade style games like basketball challenges, air hockey, and bowling. The Hall of Games was open 24 hours a day, but not all attractions were available. The Formula Racer and other similar attractions tend to be open from 10 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. on sea days and the late afternoon to 11.30 p.m. on port days. The Marina Bar is the larger bar located near the main outdoor pool, the Marina Pool. This will be your go-to bar if you're lounging poolside or if you're enjoying some of the many pool deck parties in the evenings. The Marina Bar also has a gelato station off to one side. The Marina Bar is open 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. daily, weather dependent. The pool bar menu features all your favorite drinks from a pina colada to a mai tai, mojito, and margarita, along with beer and wine. Aft on deck 18 is the main pool, the marina pool. This outdoor pool is flanked by loungers. It includes a stage in the middle and a water feature. The pool tended to be open around 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. on our cruise. The marina pool is the only outdoor family pool on the ship. Thus, it is the largest and most open of all the ship's pool areas. Each side of the deck also features whirlpools. At the end of the pool deck, there is a stage and large outdoor screen as well. Like most cruise lines, the screen plays movies during the day and early evening. The pool deck is also used for events like dance classes and even karaoke. At night, the marina pool is home to lines deck parties. From the classic white party to the brand's tropical party and even a silent disco, these outdoor celebrations were very well attended. Down the deck 16 midship, you'll find the Jungle Pool Lounge. This family-friendly pool has intricate theming and a retractable roof, meaning it's always a pool day no matter the weather outside at the Jungle Pool Lounge. There's also additional lounge seating and a few table games located upstairs in this pool area. While you're enjoying all the fun the space has to offer, there's also the Jungle Pool Beach Bar. This bar will serve up your favorite Caribbean cocktails alongside gelato selections. On sea days, the Jungle Pool Beach Bar is typically open from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. On port days, this bar is generally open from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Continuing toward the middle of the ship, you'll find the Marketplace Buffet Restaurant. This is the only casual complimentary dining option available on MSC Seascape. The venue is open for breakfast from 6 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., with continental items available an additional hour from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Lunch is served from around 12 to 3 or 4 p.m., with afternoon snacks typically available from 3.30 or 4 to about 5 p.m. Dinner was available from 6 to 9 p.m., with late night snacks from 10 to 11.30. At breakfast, the Marketplace Buffet features your typical offerings. There's a custom egg and omelet station all the way aft in the venue. Additional menu items include options like scrambled eggs, breakfast meats, pancakes and waffles, and breakfast pastries. Lunch and dinner featured a number of different stands with various food offerings. These include a pizza station, a pasta station, a salad bar, international hot entrees, a charcuterie with meats and cheese, and a grill with hamburgers and hot dogs. These selections are scattered across the two separate dining areas, with the midship elevators separating the venue into two restaurants. Unfortunately, the setup is rather sporadic, and the signage is extremely small, meaning meal times can be rather chaotic, and long lines do form. If you want a drink to go along with your meal, there's also the Marketplace Bar. Though, you're not able to actually order directly from the bar. You have to order with a server who will deliver the drink to you. The Marketplace Buffet Bar is open daily from 6 a.m. to 1 a.m. Aft, on the port side of Deck 16, you'll find the Sky Bar, located just steps away from the iconic glass-floored Bridge of Size. This is a great spot to grab a sail away drink or just enjoy the views. With additional seating on the starboard side of this outdoor deck, it's also a nice spot for al fresco dining at the Marketplace Buffet. The Sky Bar is generally open 8 a.m. until 8 p.m., but occasionally closes midday on port days. 
and during our sailing, the bar was only serving beer and wine, not spirits. All the way aft on deck 16 is one of the most photogenic areas of the ship, the Bridge of Sighs. Over 100 feet long, cruisers can look down at the wake and infinity pool below. Through the glass walkway that's suspended over the stern of the ship, it makes for great selfies and offers Instagram worthy shots with the ocean behind you. Now on MSC Seascape, decks 15 to 9 are all staterooms. During our week long cruise, we stayed in cabin 13265. This port side aft cabin is a deluxe balcony cabin. It was a short walk from the midship elevators, making it easy to access the public spaces. According to MSC Cruises website, this stateroom is 172 square feet with a 54 square foot balcony. Immediately entering the room, our bathroom was on the left. Just beyond this area, the closet was to the left and the sofa was to the right, leaving a rather small passageway to get into the main cabin area. Across from the sofa was the desk. While there was plenty of counter space, we would have liked more shelves in the cabin. The king bed was on the forward wall facing aft. Our balcony was a standard size with just enough space for our two upright chairs and a table. While not the most spacious or well laid out, this deluxe balcony cabin on MSC Seascape met our needs for our seven day Caribbean cruise. Forward on deck eight, you'll find the MSC Aurea Spa. The spa boasts an exotic interior of natural stone, precious woods, and rich mosaics, and is equipped with specific and massage treatment suites. Services include deep tissue massages and Swedish massages, as well as services like facials, salt scrubs, and an alpine body wrap. The spa was open most days from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Inside the spa, there was also a dedicated barber shop to keep you looking at your best during your time on board. Cruisers could leave the barber shop styled and ready for a great evening with services like a cut or a shave. There's also a hair salon, which offered different packages, including a personalized shampoo and conditioning mask, a haircut and single process color treatment, as well as other services. MSC Seascape also boasts an onboard nail salon, which offers typical treatments like manicures and pedicures in a dedicated space within the spa. Also within the spa is an MSC Aurea Thermal Suite. Cruisers sailing on MSC Seascape can opt for a day pass or a week long pass. Among the experiences are a hydro pool, heated stone loungers, a sauna, steam room, snow room, several shower experiences, two relaxation areas, and even an outdoor sun deck with a whirlpool and loungers. The fitness center on MSC Seascape takes up a large section of the forward space on deck eight midship and port side. Fitted with authentic techno gym equipment and featuring panoramic ocean views, the onboard gym is the place to be for all those who take their fitness regimen seriously. There are a variety of strength equipment, cardio equipment, and free weights. There's also a separate cycle room for group fitness classes, but those are an upcharge. There's also a dedicated Mona workout zone. This is a unique workout based on the combination of the seven fundamental movements and heart rate zone training developed by the Technogym scientific research team. This form of intense circuit training has its own unique area right in front of the fitness center. During our cruise, a fitness center was open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. Also on deck eight forward is a small business center. With several small conference rooms, this space can be reserved for events or groups sailing on the ship. Exiting in the spa is a Liberty Plaza. This open multi-deck space is surrounded by shops and bars. When the ship is sailing, kiosks are set up around the plaza offering jewelry and other accessories. The signature piece here is a Statue of Liberty sculpture that rises from the casino one deck below. 
this stylish and sophisticated area rests above the other themed areas below, including Times Square. In the Liberty Plaza, you'll find the Loft Cafe. Now, while many of the bars on MSC Seascape lack theming or unique decor, the Loft Cafe is an exception. This venue features oversized chairs and tables with yellow and wood tones reminiscent of a writer's room or a quiet hotel lounge. The venue features live music in the evenings and is occasionally used during the day for private events. Open from 7 a.m. until late, the Loft Cafe serves the standard bar menu alongside espresso-based beverages. This was our go-to spot for our morning lattes and a great spot to grab some espresso martinis in the evenings. The service at the Loft Cafe was some of the best on the ship as well. On the port side, next to the sports bar, is a small billiards room. It contains one pool table and a few arcade-style sports games. It was open most of the day, and the games are an upcharge. Honestly, we didn't see many people using this space. It's also completely separate from the next door bar, making the room feel closed off. Next door, you'd find the sports bar. Decked out with sports memorabilia, this classic sports bar offers craft beers, a fully stocked bar for other beverages, classic game time food options, and oversized televisions for sport broadcasts, as well as individual TV booths to watch the action. This was another bar in MSC Seascape that really had some great theming. The sports bar was open anywhere between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., depending on the ship's call into port, and remained open until late. This is the perfect spot to grab some friends, brews, and chicken wings to watch your favorite team play. Leaving Liberty Plaza and heading toward the main atrium, you'll find one of the two MSC Cruises excursion desks on the starboard side. This desk is open select times a day based on the itinerary. The shore excursions desk is where cruises can go to review tour options and find out about the options for things to do at the next port of call. Off the main atrium, midship, you'll find the MSC shop. The MSC logo shop was open when the ship was not docked at a port of call. This venue is home to MSC Cruises logo merchandise, as well as MSC Seascape keepsakes. Think ship models, t-shirts, accessories, and other souvenirs. If you are set on a specific item, head to the shop early, as items and specific sizes do sell out quite quickly. Midship, on the starboard side, you'll find the art gallery. Similar to other mega ships, this rather out of the way showroom takes up a hallway off the atrium. Here, cruisers can admire the various pieces of art. The art gallery was open select hours, normally when the ship was not docked at a port of call. Although thankfully, unlike other cruise lines, there were no art auctions on MSC Seascape. Staff were available to answer questions about the pieces of art displayed there and occasionally held seminars on things like discovering art photography. Across the way, on the port side, you'll find Ola Tacos and Cantina. This venue serves up Mexican-style street food in a vibrant, open seating restaurant with a nearby bar also serving up some tasty drinks. At Ola Tacos and Cantina, guests can choose an all-you-can-eat option for a set fee or pay a la carte for each menu item. The menu features a variety of Mexican favorites like guacamole, tacos, enchiladas, nachos, quesadillas, and more. This is a great option for a casual lunch or dinner on MSC Seascape. The restaurant was open nightly for dinner from 6 to around 9.30 or 10 p.m. and open for lunch usually around 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. The bar is open whenever the restaurant is open. If you prefer to just pull up a seat at the bar instead of dining at the restaurant, you can certainly do so. The Ola Cantina features a variety of tequila, mezcal, and cerveza. Cruisers can choose from a standard margarita or even create their own. Check the dailies for specials like buy one get one margaritas at this bar. Heading further aft, the wine cellar is located on deck 8 near the specialty restaurants. This space allows guests to explore the ship's walkthrough wine cellar and indulge in various tasting experiences. There are pour your own wine stations located here as well. While the daily states that the venue is open from 12 to 2 p.m. and from 5.45 to 10 p.m. daily, 
we never saw much going on in the space during our sailing on MSCC scheme. Midship on Deck 8 is the chef's court, which is home to many of the specialty restaurants on MSC Seascape. In the heart of the chef's court is the elegantly appointed cocktail bar. The cocktail bar on MSC Seascape serves up a variety of fun and refreshing drinks. This is a cozy spot to enjoy some exclusive cocktails like the Rose Lychee Sangria, a spiced Mai Tai, or the Indo Chine Martini. Before or after dinner, in one of the specialty restaurants. The drinks and the service at this bar were some of the best we encountered on our sailing. The cocktail bar is generally open whenever the specialty restaurants are open, usually 12 to 2 p.m. and 5.45 p.m. to 10 p.m. Like many cruise lines, MSC Seascape offers a Japanese hibachi style restaurant. Kato Teppanyaki is open nightly for dinner from 5.45 p.m. to 9.30 p.m with set seatings on select days for lunch from 12 to 2 p.m. This teppanyaki restaurant's menu features set tasting combinations at varying prices. Each begins with a sushi and sashimi plate, miso soup, salad, and fried rice. Then there are seafood portions and meat portions, which vary based on which experience you select. The meal then concludes with a pineapple and matcha ice cream dessert. There is an additional vegetarian and kids menu available. Further, the chef will work to customize your selections within reason and price point. For instance, instead of fish, my wife got a double portion of chicken. Once you make your selections, it's time to sit back and enjoy this interactive dinner show. Watch your chef cook up the meal right in front of you with a little singing and fun along the way. On the port side is a butcher's cut. The Butcher's Cut is a signature steakhouse on MSC Seascape. This upscale restaurant is one of the best at sea, in our opinion, featuring premium cuts of beef alongside various starters, sides, and desserts. There's also a signature cocktail menu and wine list that pairs perfectly with your dinner. The venue features an open kitchen, a large dining room, and additional alfresco seating on the waterfront. At the Butcher's Cut, cruisers can choose to pay a flat fee for the dining experience menu or purchase items from the full menu at a la carte prices. The Butcher's Cut is open nightly for dinner from 5.45 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. and on select days for brunch from 12 to 2 p.m. Some of our favorites at this restaurant include the oysters, filet mignon, mac and cheese, and the lava cake. On the starboard side is Kato Sushi. Unique to MSC Cruises, Kato Sushi Bar comes complete with its own sushi conveyor belt. This venue is priced completely a la carte and is not part of any of the dining packages. Kato Sushi is open from 5.45 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. nightly for dinner and 12 to 2 p.m. on select sea days for lunch. At Kato Sushi, cruisers can pull up a seat at the bar top and select items from the conveyor belt in front of them. The plates are color-coded based on the pricing. There are also additional items on the menu, like tempura, teriyaki, soup, noodles, and desserts. Continuing aft, you'll find the Ocean Key Restaurant. The Ocean Key Restaurant is the intimate seafood specialty restaurant on MSC Seascape. Similar to the Butcher's Cut, the Ocean Key menu features a flat fee dining experience menu and a larger a la carte menu. There are various hot and cold appetizers, main courses such as lobster tail, and desserts. Unfortunately, if someone in your travel potty does not like seafood, there are very limited non-seafood items available at this venue. Ocean Key Restaurant is open nightly for dinner from 5.45 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. and select days for lunch from 12 to 2 p.m. At the aft of Deck 8 is the Uptown Lounge. The Uptown Lounge hosts a variety of activities during the day, including trivia, dance classes, Name That Tune, the Majority Rules Game Show, and more. In the evenings, the lounge features live music and cocktails for those looking to unwind after dinner. The bar in the Uptown Lounge generally doesn't open until 7 p.m. each evening and serves a standard bar menu and is open to usually around midnight. At the very aft of the ship, 
Outdoors, you'll find the Infinity Pool. The Infinity Pool is the adults only pool on MSC Seascape. The two adjacent pools overlook the wake for some amazing views. Both the starboard side and port side of this deck area offer loungers, as well as additional seating for those looking to enjoy the warm Caribbean air. Most days, the Infinity Pool was open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Along with this adults-only infinity pool, you'll find an outdoor bar and a gelato shop. Not to mention both port side and starboard sides of Deck 8 feature additional outdoor seating and side-facing whirlpools for more fantastic views. If you're looking to lounge in this space, the infinity bar is your go-to spot to grab a cocktail. This bar is open from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. daily, weather permitting. On the port side, you'll find the Venki Gelato. This gelato shop is an upcharge and was typically open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. on sea days and from early afternoon to 8 p.m. on port days. This gelato shop is one of four areas cruisers can get this delicious Italian treat on the ship. Encompassing all of Deck 8 is the waterfront promenade with infinity bridges. MSC Seascape gets cruisers closer to the action than ever before with some of the most outdoor spaces of any new mega ship. The Deck 8 outdoor waterfront wraps mostly around the ship. It's home to a variety of seating areas with tables and chairs, loungers, and some oversized chairs. On each side of the ship, you can get a bird's eye view of the decks below with the infinity bridges. Each of these bridges is essentially a mini version of the Bridge of Size found on Deck 16. These infinity bridges are glass walkways that let you peer to the decks below on both the starboard side and port side of Deck 8. A few laps around this deck on a sunny day is all but mandatory. The Cora Theater is located all the way forward on Deck 7 and 6. This traditional style theater can hold over 1,200 guests and boast five new signature shows and two headliner acts during a week-long cruise. When compared to other new mega ships, we felt the theater was rather basic with limited technology and capabilities. The stage also felt small for a ship of this size. Out of the five production shows, we liked Love Blooms and Premiere the best. Love Blooms was a whimsical tale with a decent mix of music and ornate costumes. Premiere was a nod to classic movies. From James Bond to The Wizard of Oz, Dirty Dancing, and even Ghostbusters, it was fun, even if it was a bit cheesy. Exiting the theater, heading midship, you'll find the MSC Casino and Casino Bar. The MSC Seascape Casino was open when the ship was not docked at a port of call. With your traditional mix of slot machines and table games, it felt like your run-of-the-mill gambling hall at sea. Of note, the casino is a smoking venue, and the smell wades into the atrium and the decks above. Most sea days, slot machines remain open all day, with tables opening around 11am and staying open until late. The casino bar is centrally located in the casino on Deck 7 and is adorned with an artistic representation of the Statue of Liberty. Lady Liberty can be seen from the deck above in the Liberty Plaza. Similar to the casino, the casino bar opened around 10 a.m. on sea days and somewhere between 2 and 6 p.m. on port days and stayed open late. Heading to the atrium on Deck 7, you'll find the Champagne Bar. The Dazzling Champagne and Wine Bar is located right off the atrium, with the main bar on the port side, but seating on both the port and starboard side. This bar's signature menu offers a variety of champagne, prosecco, and other bubbly drinks from around the world, with cocktails like the Chambord Royale or French Kiss. This bar is open from about 5pm until midnight daily, 
and is a great spot to grab a pre-dinner cocktail while enjoying some of the happenings in the atrium. Continuing off on the starboard side, you'll find the Aegean Restaurant. The Aegean Restaurant is one of the four complimentary restaurants on MSC Seascape, and this restaurant was only open for dinner. The blue decor and minimalistic design gave nods to the ocean and marine life. This dining room was open for cruisers who had traditional dining, with dining times at 6 p.m. and 8.30. This was actually our dining room for the week. We dined here on four occasions and found the food to be average at best. Although I was a fan of the last night's Italian themed menu with items like Osimboco, calamari, and of course, pasta. Further aft on deck seven is the Skyline Restaurant. This restaurant offers an urban feel with stylings mimicking an upscale city restaurant. This venue was for those with My Choice Dining, which is the cruise line's more flexible dining plan. The My Choice Dining option is only available for those who select the Aurea experience on MSC Cruises. Guests do need to make reservations each evening for a select dining time, but can choose any dining time they want. Again, this restaurant was only open for dinner. At the very aft of Deck 7 is Le Cabaret Rouge. Le Cabaret Rouge is a unique entertainment space that you can only find on MSC Cruises. This large yet intimate venue is home to a variety show each evening, which highlights several unique acts. From live singers, to a comedian pianist, to acrobats, and even a hula hoop dancer, it was a hodgepodge of entertainment. The venue hosts other activities, like the Guinness World Record Game Show and the Globe Party, and it also turned into the ship's nightclub each evening with club music until sunrise. During all this evening fun, you can grab your drinks from the bar in this venue, which is open from 7 p.m. nightly. There are also servers making the rounds in this venue, especially during the variety show. Of note, this venue is not used much during the day, so it can be a nice quiet spot to read, get some work done, or just relax in the comfortable furniture without many other cruisers nearby. Forward on deck six is another New York themed area, Times Square. This venue is designed to evoke the excitement and liveliness of this famous New York City neighborhood. With upscale shops and boutiques surrounding the area, this lounge is home to the dueling pianos each night. With two talented performers playing theme sets, Times Square comes alive with classic sing-along style tunes from all genres of music. Check the daily planner for the times and different sets. With titles like classic rock and totally 80s, there are plenty of great options. The Venki 1878 Chocolate Bar is a chocolate lover's paradise. This venue serves a variety of non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages made with the brand's signature chocolate, including some delicious espresso-based drinks. The bar also serves a variety of other chocolates and gelato that are crafted on board in an open-air kitchen. Venki is generally open every day from 8 a.m. to midnight. Unfortunately though, none of the drinks or other chocolates and items at Venki are included in any of the MSC drink packages. Heading toward the atrium midship on deck six, you'll find the main MSC excursions desk. Like the smaller kiosk above, here cruisers can speak with staff at designated times to get more information about tours or to book excursions. Similar to the deck above, on the port side of the ship, there's another bar, the Shine Bar. This bar is open from 4 p.m. daily, serving the ship's standard bar menu. Overlooking all the action of the atrium, this is a great place to grab a drink while enjoying the live music or nightly festivities that occur in the atrium. Of note, there's no bar located in Times Square. So if you are heading there to listen to live piano music, you might want to grab a drink at the Shine Bar first. 
although there are some servers in the area taking drink orders when you're listening to the live piano music. Lastly on deck six is another restaurant, Kalal Jordal restaurant. This is the second largest restaurant on the ship and it's a complimentary restaurant. This restaurant was only open for dinner and for those with traditional dining times of 6.15 and 8.45 p.m. Lastly, there's deck five. Midship, you'll find the MSC Foundation. If you wanna give back, the MSC Foundation Center on Deck Five is your place to learn more about this nonprofit's work. You can also purchase a keepsake with all proceeds going to the foundation's work to restore the critical balance between people and nature. The foundation utilizes MSC's global reach and unique knowledge of the sea to make immediate action that contributes to protecting and nurturing the blue planet and all its people. Like most contemporary cruise lines, MSC Cruises features photographers roaming the ship, snapping photos of your cruise vacation. At the photo hub, you can speak with the staff to get more information about the photo packages. This digital center is also a spot you should head to if you have questions about the Wi-Fi. MSC Cruises Wi-Fi package can be a bit complicated, so don't be surprised if there's a line here with cruisers troubleshooting some issues. In addition, make sure to walk through the Emotions Immersive Gallery to see the unique photos of MSC guests, including you and your family, taken by the professional photographers on board the ship. This immersive experience is a great opportunity to meet your fellow guests, and it's a lot of fun trying to spot the shots of you and your loved ones. Do know that in the atrium, there are touchscreen kiosks available for cruisers to review their photos. Here, crew members are also available select hours to answer any questions you have or to help you choose a perfect shot. So don't worry if you can't find your photos on the gallery. They're all stored digitally in MSC Seascapes Cloud. The centerpiece of the interior area that we've been walking around for a while is the four-deck atrium that extends from deck five to deck eight. Along with bars and lounges surrounding the area, the atrium is home to live music in the evenings. There are also regular activities and even party pre-shows hosted by the activities manager. The atrium is a bright and lively place to meet and socialize with friends. It's also home to Alliance signature Swarovski staircase that connects to different decks in style and fashion. Last of the MSC Seascapes bars, is the aptly named Seascape Bar. This bar is located on deck five and in the center of all the action occurring in the atrium. This is also one of the bars open the earliest on the ship, opening every day at 6 a.m. All bars on MSA ships serve espresso along with other cocktails. Thus, you can head here early in the morning for a caffeine fix. However, if you're looking for a custom latte, you might be turned away like we were several mornings. While we were told this bar should be able to make them, the bar staff here often directed us to wait until the Loft Cafe opened at 7 a.m. This is why we miss a dedicated coffee bar on MSC Seascape. In the atrium here, you'll find guest services, tucked away on the port side of Deck 5. Open 24 hours a day, guests can speak to the helpful staff regarding any issues they may experience while on board. Across the way is the MSC Future Cruise Desk. If you're interested in booking another MSC Cruises trip, then you should visit this desk on the starboard side. Open select hours when the ship is in port, and most of the day on sea days, the Future Cruise Desk crew members are on hand to help you decide on your next voyage. You can take advantage of special rates and promotions only available while sailing to get even greater value for your next MSC Cruises trip. Finally, you'll find the Green Wave Restaurant midship on Deck 5. As the name implies, the Green Wave Restaurant is adorned in all shades of emerald and fern tones. This is the last complimentary restaurant, and it's home to three dining times for traditional dinner. An early time at 5.15 p.m., 7.30 p.m., and a late dining time at 9.30 p.m. The Green Wave is also the largest of all the restaurants. And this is the restaurant that's open for breakfast every morning 
typically from 7 or 7.30 a.m. and staying open about two hours to either 9 or 9.30 a.m. On sea days, the Green Wave restaurant was open for a sit-down lunch from noon to 1 p.m. While we didn't test out the restaurant for breakfast, we did eat lunch here on one sea day and thought the food was pretty average. Now, if our ship tour has you interested in knowing what it's like to actually cruise on MSC Seascape, then we highly recommend you check out our MSC Seascape cruise ship review. In that video, we go into detail about several aspects of the experience on board the ship. From the dining, to the entertainment, staterooms, and onboard activities, we cover it all in our exclusive MSC Seascape cruise review video to help you decide if MSC Seascape is right for your next cruise vacation.